Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to Champions League predictions. So I got both my predictions wrong. Um, it is what it is. I predicted the English clubs to not do that well in the away leg. I was clearly wrong about that. The PSG City game, I'm not really surprised by. Um, seeing City winning, I would, I would never have been surprised by that result. But I thought in Paris, at home, PSG would get the win and then take it to England. But I was wrong about that. Uh, statistically, well not statistically, but in, in the Champions League knockouts this season, PSG have been better away than at home. So it should be a very interesting second leg, especially if PSG scored first. That would be very interesting. But City played well uh, to come back in the second half, you know. Uh, that Mahrez free kick was quite something as well. So uh, fair play to them. Um, I kind of hope that uh, City don't win the Champions League. But if they do, then they do. It's, it's whatever. But they're doing really well this season. And uh, they could well be in a final. But PSG, I think, will have something to say about that in Manchester. Anyway, as for the other one, I am surprised by uh, Chelsea going to Madrid and getting something. I actually thought they should have won comfortably. Chelsea had multiple chances, especially in the first half. They could have been 3 4 nil up. Like, they played that well. And the fact they only drew 1-1, I think, was... I mean, I'm sure they would have taken this result. But considering how the game went, I feel like I would... If I was in their position, not that we would be in that position, but if Arsenal were in that position and had that same game, I'd have been very annoyed, considering how many chances Chelsea had that, that game. Like, that, that was something else. I kind of want Chelsea to go through as well, just because I don't want to see Real Madrid win, win, the, win the Champions League again. Um... Um, I prefer one of these two teams win the Champions League o over these two, but I, I would just prefer that Real Madrid get knocked out. So uh, I kind of wanted Chelsea to uh, to win, and they should have. They should have won by like two or three goals, but it is what it is. They got the away goal, I guess. Obviously, away goals only count after the, the after both games are over. But obviously, if it's nil nil, Chelsea go through. But if Real Madrid scored, it completely cancels out. But they got an opportunity, Chelsea. I think. Um, Considering how they played uh, in Madrid, I think they got a chance at Stamford Bridge for sure. But, you know, obviously no crowds usually does favour the away team. Maybe not always, but it tends to in some games. But, uh, yeah, should be something interesting. We've This is good set-up for, se for the second legs, that's for sure. Let's actually predict them. Um, I kind of want PSG to go through, but I think City will see it out. Although, I think it'll be cl quite close. So I'm going to say it's 2-2. Yes, it's 2-2. PSG one goal away from going through. No, sorry. 2-2, not 3-2. Although if this happened, PSG would go for one away goals. But I'm going to say 2-2. I'm going to say PSG really push for it. But City just about hold on. That's what I'm going to say about that one. Chelsea Real Madrid. Um, I'm not sure. Honestly, it could be any results. Real could come down and batter them. Chelsea could win. Uh... You know, it could be any results. But I'm going to go right in the middle. I'm going to say the score will be the same as the, as the first leg. I will say it's going to be 1-1. It's going to extra time. It will still be 1-1. And it will go to penalties. And uh, may the best team win on penalties. That's what I predict will happen in this. I think he'll go straight to penalties. Not straight, not straight to penalties. But I think he'll go all the way to, to a penalty shootout. And then Chelsea go through. That's my prediction. But in terms of the 90 minutes... I predict 1-1. One, one. So yeah, Chelsea 1, Real Madrid 1, and Man City 2, PSG 2. have gone for two draws. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But yeah, what I want is PSG v Chelsea and PSG winning. That's what I want. But what will happen, we shall see. <laughs> well, we shall really see. In reality, I don't really want... I don't want Real, Chelsea or City to win the Champions League. You know, PSG I can handle because I like Mbappe. And for a player to win the World Cup and the Champions League at that age would be insane. I would love to see that personally. I would love to see... Has, who's the youngest player to win both trophies? That's what I want to know. Would Mbappe break it? He potentially would. He potentially would. I know Thierry Henry won the World Cup when he was like a teenager, right? But he didn't win the Champions League until like his 30s, so... Can you imagine if Mbappe won the Champions League World Cup at 22? What was I doing at 22? 
you know what? Let's just let, let, let's end the video. This is your boy Zavanoff. He's like, yeah, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya. <laughs>